Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. So we're gonna get started with breakfast and this has been a typical go-to for me for a while now. I'm first gonna make my coffee. I just usually use the Dunkin' pre-ground, either original or vanilla. And then I add my creamer. This has been a favorite of mine for a while as well. The Natural Bliss Oat Milk Brown Sugar Flavor. I'm trying to use more plant-based options rather than dairy, but that's just preference. You can use whatever creamer you prefer. Just make sure you read the serving sizes because even things like coffee creamer add up quickly. Then I'm going to make some hard-boiled eggs. I like to make a batch of these to have prepped for the week. So I'm gonna put two aside to have this morning and put the rest in the fridge. I love this little steamer. It makes hard boiled eggs super easy and convenient. I'll link everything that I mentioned down below as well if you guys are interested in checking anything out. Then I'm gonna add a serving size of guac. So for this one, that's two tablespoons. And I'm just gonna put this on the side. This is another convenient option to have pre-made in the fridge, but you could also just slice up an avocado instead. And then I also like to just top the avocado and eggs with the everything but bagel seasoning. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. It's so good. It just gives a perfect added flavor, especially to hard boiled eggs. While I have breakfast and coffee, I also like to start with my first ice water. And I do refill this throughout the day, but I try to get the first glass of water done early in the morning while I'm prepping and eating breakfast. Moving on to lunch, I wanted something really fresh and light. So I decided to go with a salad. I feel like I rarely show you guys salads. <laughs> eating healthy doesn't mean only eating salads, FYI but it definitely is a healthy staple to either have as a meal or a side. I try to keep healthy eating exciting. I don't want it to be boring and mundane or super repetitive. So I like to switch up what I eat a lot. I'm just very conscious of what I'm eating. And again, always reading serving sizes. So I'm gonna take a couple handfuls of mixed greens. Then I cut up some onion, cucumber, and tomatoes, and I'm just gonna place this right on top. Then add a little bit of shredded low fat cheese and pepper. Then I just top it off with some dressing. Today I'm using the balsamic vinaigrette. That's definitely a go-to dressing for me, whether I'm eating at home or at a restaurant. Also side note, when I'm at a restaurant, I always ask for dressing or other condiments on the side. That way I can add them as I would like because I typically find restaurants always add an excessive amount. So I'm just gonna pre-measure this using again, the serving recommended and drizzle this all over. This is also a great salad to have with some grilled chicken or if you wanna grab a rotisserie chicken to shred up and have over top as well. That's something I do often. Get that added protein. Then as a little snack, I'm gonna have my Activia dailies. So I typically go back and forth between these and an actual yogurt, focusing on the probiotic aspect because it's really good for your gut health, helping to balance and relieve any minor digestive discomfort, such as bloating and anyone that experiences anadia overgrowth. This is a vanilla flavor. It tastes really good. So sometimes I'll have this as a snack or even as a dessert. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make another home chef. This is the shrimp scampi with broccoli orzo. This is a super filling, easy meal option that both Will and I really enjoy. So you're gonna get about eight cups of water to a boil. While you're waiting on your water to boil, you're going to prep your ingredients. So I'm first gonna cut up some broccoli, mince your garlic, half your lemon, cutting one half into wedges and juicing the other half. Then stem and chop your parsley. Next, I'm going to pat my shrimp dry. Once the water's boiling, you can add your orzo and broccoli. You're gonna cook these for about four to five minutes. Once these are cooked, you can drain, reserving about half a cup of the cooking water. Now you can set this aside off of the heat, adding in some pepper, your Parmesan, and half of the water that we reserved, mixing this in together really well. And just put this off to the side while we move on to the shrimp. Next, add some cooking oil, butter, and your garlic to a pan on medium heat. Let this cook for about 30 to 60 seconds, then you can add in your shrimp. Cook this all together, cooking the shrimp about three minutes on each side, then remove the pan from the burner. You can then add your parsley, lemon juice, and red pepper flakes to taste. Now you're ready to combine everything together, mix it really well, plate your portion, and it's ready to enjoy. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.